Deja Vu, in memory of Terence Charters Bradshaw, 1932-2006. to Each day's light has more significance these days. Frank O'Hara. I should say, first of all, that the Bank of Ireland on the corner of North Street, next to where your pal Carly's mother ran the photographic studio we all went to for annual portraits until that stopped, in the 60s. Though that wonderful Art Deco building is closed and boarded up. The doors scrawled over. What would you expect after all the mayhem? And the Grand Central Hotel you used to frequent in the snazziest of snazzy suits, the film star look. It went years ago, alas, replaced by the dire shopping mall. No GPO, no Grand Hotel, just the date stones of buildings laid in the 19th century when the city was all gothic and your mother and father were conceived and started to make their way towards each other and by the time you came about the wars began the less said the better now a short time now a short life later at the drop of a hat a mere 70 years on you go and buy out on us the messenger boy, the boy entrant, the spark, the dancer, the chatter-upper, the dab hand, the butterfly, the only boy. You go and push off with no five hands, no dam busters, but an unceremonious last tour to your old school, your old buddies like boys again in the forces, the white cuffs showing just so, the quip, the breast pocket handkerchief, and always the laugh. The jaded look came later. Sitting where I am now, your feet jive to the music of time, swiveling this way and that on the steps one day of the central library, you approached me and my mates, my Uncle Terry, a whiff of drink taken in the glades, your grandfather's spot, or Hercules of the horseshoe bar. Daydreams and marijuana and the waterworks, tripping down limestone road, the RUC band playing in Alexandra Park, lying stretched out in the grove, for that was the summer of love. Blue skies all the way from Napoleon's nose to Scrabble, cadging admission to the small faces, Pink Floyd in the Ulster Hall, Hendrix in the Whitler. And hearing your step in late, about four in the morning, the light in the back room had started to spill from ceiling to floor. In your wake, cigarette smoke and aftershave, like it was only yesterday. Women pushing huge prams, men in suits with lunch boxes, and of course the sky at night, which I will never forget from my little porch, my secret eyrie at the top of the house. But no one asked after you or said hello, they just kept on, and who would blame them in the squalls of rain before the sunlight came, along with a sudden gust up North Street and down by discount shops and ragged car parks and the view all the way to where we once lived like everyone else, or so we thought, swimming away in our own underworld, the check vase in the bay window, the sun blinds, the grandfather clock on the landing, waking up in arctic bedrooms to milky skies and freezing mornings, everyone heading to work on packed buses. Could it have been so, through autumn and winter, spring and summer, women sitting on spruce porches, in behind their front gardens, and the kids like a breed unto themselves hanging out down the back when the nights lengthened and you'd arrive in from somewhere very different from this orderly world that's gone now. Like you collapsed in a heap on the bathroom floor, like you acting the league, who goes there? Like the pop of the gas fire being lit in Granny's bedroom, the white columns that turned sky blue, the scraggy nights of racing clouds, the kitchen lights going on one after another at the same time. The shadows on the ceiling, the shining, the shining car park where it shouldn't have been, the sound of someone whistling down the lane, and the whole thing starting up all over again, every morning without fail, come sun, rain or hail, without you or me, without the blink of an eye, the blinds drawn from morning, that's what should have been done, all the way down the gardens and avenues, just for you who sailed through smoozing with the best of them until demob came with the banner welcome home and you're back on civvy street
That day I swear I saw you all of a sudden. The weather turned from foul storm cloud to brilliant sunshine, like a flash of light. And in a second gone, as we beetled along to the mega stores and one-time fashion houses, the fast food outlets on the mosaic ground floors, the medical hall, the Ulster Club, the Scottish Prudential, the red brick luminous in the falling rain, stumbling up the stairs in fits of laughter, gone like all the people dressed for the part, gone like a ship slipping out to sea into the dark, gone like that Easter break, rolling eggs down the hillside until they smashed to smithereens, the long silence of Sunday afternoons, the foghorns blasting in the new year, the slow erosions of that life into fear, by which time you had well and truly gone. And what remains, who can ever tell? To see it all again, the turning in a street corner, the light on a landing, a door that was never quite flush, the names cut one summer in the soft and flashing of the top window, and all the things that seemed the same, moonlight on rooftop, the shouted question, a slow silhouetted figure that moves across the blinds, the brazen air of early spring as everything becomes new once more.